This week's update is going to be a little bit different. I had the opportunity to visit my grandchildren uh, this past week. And while I was up in Chicago area with them, I took the opportunity to visit the Elmhurst Model Railroad Club. This club has both uh, HO and N scale layouts, as well as uh, an HO N3 um, that wasn't running, but uh, the HO was and the N scale was. So my two grandchildren, Audrey and Tommy, and myself uh, went to Elmhurst and uh, visited this layout. And so I have some uh, video from our visit there, uh, some of the uh, trains that were running. You first of all have here some N scale trains. Uh, the N scale layout is fairly new. Um, it looks like they haven't been working on it for too long, uh, but they've uh, got all the track in and uh, some of the scenery. So they have some areas that are finished and some that are um, still have a, quite a bit of work to be done on them. Uh, but definitely uh, a chance to see some N scale trains run. And then, of course, there's a much bigger HO layout. Uh, that was also running. The HO layout's been uh, has been worked on for quite a while. I think the guy told me it was started back in the 80s, possibly. So they've been working on it for quite a while. Uh, here you see uh, some road railers going by. Um, I think we're back to the N scale layout here. This is an area that was pretty well finished. We're going to stay longer now. Now we're back to an area not so finished. See the Cato uh, Schaumburg Metro Station there. I have that on my layout as well. Couldn't really tell what kind of track they used on the N scale layout there. Didn't really look at it close enough. Here we're back to the HO layout. Good job. This uh, train going by was owned by that young man in the background there. Canadian National and Illinois Central units. I asked him about that and uh, he did say that the Canadian National did buy the Illinois Central and they do pull road railers. So this look like, looks like he had put some thought into putting this train together, an actual train that uh, is run by the prototype. Here's some more HO layout. Oops. There were a few uh, derailments and mishaps, but for the most part, things ran very nicely on both layouts. This is a pretty, uh, pretty well finished, nice looking area of the HO layout. Uh, while we were there, they were kind of running it um, as a nighttime version. There's my grandkids, Tommy and Audrey. We'll see more of them as we look through these. This is one of my favorite of my granddaughter, Audrey. Of all my grandchildren, I think she is into trains more than any of them. We were there for a while and had seen everything and I asked them if they wanted to uh, go or if they wanted to see some more. Audrey wanted to go back and look at everything again a second time. Uh, Tommy was okay either way. Most of the units uh, had sound, especially on the HO layout. Here you have a 2662 locomotive. The sound on this particular locomotive was very loud. There's Audrey. Hi. <laughs> You can be in there. <laughs> this is the engine facilities at the uh, HO layout. Looks like they still needed to do a little bit of work. Had a really cool sanding operation here. I've seen that on layouts and it really looks cool, but I've never seen one in, in real life. So I think the, that's probably an older type. Okay. 
I don't think they use those too much anymore. They, uh, I may be wrong. That's like the maintenance shed. My granddaughter yeah. asked why the locomotives were in a cage there. Explained to her that that was just a maintenance facility of some sort. As you can see, the HO layout looks look pretty nice. They have done a good job of doing the scenery and details. The HO layout was probably, let's say, 90% complete. And here you can see where they're doing some nighttime running. They had the uh, drive-in theater. And as you were standing here, you could actually see the movie being played. Doesn't show up on the video, but if I zoom in, you can actually see on the video the movie being played. <laughs> and here the video just couldn't pick it up, but you can see it if you're actually there. Now here we're back to the N scale layout. There was no real method or uh, method of uh, viewing the layout. We just wandered around, went back and forth. The scale trains? This or, was uh, a young cool. man that was proud of his uh, scale trains turbine. Nice. Being, pulling some uh, protein hopper cars, which are modern, but that's all right. He just wanted to pull some trains. All right, back to the HO layout here. No, I take that back. This is still, yeah, this is still the N scale layout. <laughs> had a couple of Canadian National units here pulling a freight train. I think it's typical of club layouts. You don't always get prototypical um, consists. I think this is you know some modern huh? Canadian National units pulling some box yeah, cars that have roof locks and stuff. A lot. Actually, it's not too bad. That looks like mostly modern no, stuff. Not more. Watch out. Watch out for that guy, guys. And here we get to see the sound of the turbine locomotives. Go in, dog. As you can see, the N scale scenery looks pretty good too. This is a, an area that's pretty well finished and scenic out. Pretty nice scale trains, turbine latch up, pulling protein grain cars. Here, here's uh, some nighttime stuff that I thought was pretty cool. I like this. They had everything lit up. Uh, it actually shows up pretty good here on the video too, but it was really cool uh, when they had the lights turned down. They never turned them off completely, but they had them turned down a little bit. Hold on. I, I don't know if you saw there, but there's some sewer pipes there. This is in the basement of a downtown Elmhurst building. This is an icing platform of some sort that's all lit up. That was pretty cool. Yep. Uh, but it's in the basement. Um, we got to it pretty easily using my GPS navigation and so forth. But uh, once we got there, it's not real clear exactly uh, what door to go in. So we actually drove around a little bit. I thought my GPS was wrong. You like it so far? Yeah. Me too. And Tommy. Uh, but anyway, I had to call and say, hey, where is this place? And uh, get, got a little bit more information. Uh, this looks pretty cool here. Nighttime running, the train going through. Uh, but anyway, we did. We we're able to find. We basically just parked and walked, and there was basically a door that had a small sign saying "Hey, model train layout." Uh, so it wasn't that hard to find, but it was definitely a fun experience. Tommy and Audrey liked it a lot. Audrey, I think more than Tommy, but they both enjoyed it, and of course, I enjoyed it as well. Uh, so next week we'll have uh, another update. 
not on this club, but on mine. So thanks so much for watching.